an exclusive interview you'll only see on News 13 in the case against Casey Anthony. Casey's defense team wants to know how many people searched the wooded area where Kaylee's remains were eventually found. The group Equus search says 32 people look there, but the defense has found at least two more. News 13's Adam Longo talks to a man who searched that area several times, and he's not on anyone's list. Well before Texas AccuSearch was even in the picture, a man we talked to tonight said he searched in this very area where Kaylee Anthony's remains were eventually found. Now, Jose Baez and Casey's defense team filing this motion this week, really showing their hand. They're trying to find anyone, everyone, in fact, who may have been in this area because they are going to try to argue that Kaylee's remains weren't here until well after Casey Anthony was in jail. There's two different times I was out there with different teams. Drew Tate considers himself an outdoorsman. That's why when Kaylee Anthony first was reported missing in mid-July of last year, he got curious and started searching around the woods near the Anthony family home. There just wasn't. I mean, we lifted up everything in our area. There, there's no doubt we would have found it if it was right where we were. Drew was here two days in July that first week, and then he returned in November with the Texas EcuSearch Group. He volunteered with them an entire week. That was the last day of the search. We went and tried that area. We searched the other side. We searched all over. And so right, right as we were eating lunch, I canceled it, and we were... We were right there in that area that time. Drew says he doesn't believe he was close to where the remains were found. Two sworn statements, however, from other volunteers attached to yesterday's defense motion indicates those volunteers think they were close and they don't think Kaylee's remains were there when they were there in September. Drew says he examined anything he felt looked suspicious. You know, a canvas bag I'd have opened with a it. Disney bag next to it. You would have seen it. Yes. Drew says he was probably closest during his first search in July. I should have smelt it at least the first go arounds. I mean, we were that we were close enough. If the wind was blowing our way, maybe we'd have found something. Now, Tate says he hasn't spoken with anyone on Casey Anthony's defense team. Meantime, AccuSearch attorney Mark Knee James says he would like to comment on the motion, but doesn't plan on doing so until early next week. In East Orange County tonight, Adam Longo, News 13.